Snow White. Long ago, there lived a beautiful queen. She was not blessed with children for a long time, so she prayed that God would send her a baby. One day, when the queen was embroidering by the window, snowflakes started to fall. Oh, snow! She exclaimed, looking out of the window. Just then, the needle slipped and pricked her finger. Ouch! A drop of bright red blood fell from her fingertip. Staring at the blood, the queen prayed to God, Please send me a lovely daughter, with cheeks as red as this blood, skin as fair as the snow, and hair as black as ebony. After a while, God answered her prayer, and a beautiful princess was born. Her skin was fair as snow, her cheeks and lips as red as blood, and her hair as black as ebony, just as the queen had wished. In her happiness, the queen offered a prayer of thanks to God. <laughs> the baby, named Snow White, was loved and cherished by the queen. But the frail queen soon fell seriously ill and died. Snow White was beside herself with grief. The king, taking pity on the poor princess and hoping to comfort her, took a second wife. On the wedding day, the second queen smiled coldly at Snow White. Goodness, the queen was a hideous witch! Far from loving her, the wicked queen was mean to Snow White, behind the king's back. Despite this, Snow White grew healthily into a kind, beautiful princess. The flowers and birds in the castle garden were Snow White's only friends. The wicked queen hated the princess, who was growing more and more beautiful day by day because she believed herself to be the fairest in the world. The queen consulted the magic mirror hidden in her room. Magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? I know it's me. But the mirror replied, No you're not, Snow White is more fair than thee. What a horrible mirror! You always told me I was the fairest. I'm so ashamed cried the angry queen, kicking the mirror.
queen secretly summoned her huntsman and said, Take Snow White into the forest and kill her. You know the penalty if you fail. And just to make sure that you do as I say, bring back her heart to me. Making up a story about a wounded fawn needing her help, the huntsman took Snow White deep into the forest. Worried about the wounded fawn, the tender-hearted princess urged the huntsman to hurry. He could not bring himself to kill Snow White. The huntsman suddenly got off his horse and fell to his knees, pleading, Run, run away! The queen is a hideous witch! He confided the queen's horrifying order with tears in his eyes and urged Snow White to flee into the forest. The huntsman then bought the heart of a piglet from the butcher in town and returned to the castle. I killed the princess as you ordered. Mm-hmm. Is this her heart? Well done. No sooner were the words out of her mouth than the queen cast a spell and turned the huntsman into stone to keep the secret. Snow White fled into the woods all alone. On and on she walked, trembling with fear. Starving and thirsty, she almost fell to the ground. Just then, she saw a little cottage a long way away. Oh, someone must live there. Snow White ran toward the cottage. She called out, Hello! but received no answer. So, she opened the door and entered the house. Wow! What an adorable table! exclaimed Snow White. The table had dinner for seven. The starving princess took a bit of bread from each plate. And she fell asleep across the seven beds standing side by side. When the seven dwarfs returned, they were surprised to find Snow White sleeping across their beds. They stood there feasting their eyes on the noble beauty of the princess. What a beautiful princess! They were fascinated by her beauty. Just then, Snow White awoke. Sorry, I entered your house without permission, ate your bread and slept on your beds, she apologised to the dwarfs, telling them what had happened to her. What an evil witch! We'll protect you. You must live secretly with us, said the dwarfs. Thank you, replied Snow White. Snow White got up early in the morning to make breakfast for the dwarfs and sent them off to work saying 
Have a nice day. You too. The dwarf set off with more energy than usual. After seeing them off, Snow White cleaned the house and did the washing. A host of friendly forest animals came to the cottage to help her. The dirty cottage and clothes were thoroughly cleaned. Thank you for your help, everybody. It's time to have a snack. The forest animals were treated to delicious homemade cookies. Rabbits and fawns brought nuts in return for the treat. Thank you for having a welcome party for me. Picking flowers and braiding a necklace with them, Snow White sang a happy song, surrounded by the friendly animals. The Wicked Queen consulted her magic mirror in a good mood. Magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? I believe it is I, because Snow White is dead. You are wrong. Snow White is still the fairest in the land. She is alive and staying happily in the cottage of the seven dwarfs in the forest. Hmm! I cannot stand this! I will kill her! The Queen angrily screamed, transforming herself into an old ribbon peddler. The Queen went to the cottage where Snow White was living with the dwarfs. Ribbons! Ribbons! Won't you buy a lovely ribbon? With this beautiful ribbon around your dress, you will look beautiful! Wow! What a wonderful ribbon! Give it a try, young lady! When Snow White nodded, the old woman wound a ribbon around the princess's chest and fastened it tight with all her strength. Uh, 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 uh. Snow White choked and fell to the ground. Now I'll be the fairest in the land, chuckled the queen. Giggling happily, she went back to the castle. After a while, the seven dwarfs returned from work and were surprised to find Snow White lying on the floor. One of them saw the ribbon around her chest and cut it. She is still alive! Thanks to the seven dwarfs, Snow White's life was saved. Snow White told the dwarfs what had happened to her. 
The peddler must be the wicked queen, they cried. The queen will return to harm you. Whoever comes, do not open the door when you are alone, they warned the princess. Returning happily to the castle, the queen consulted her magic mirror again. Magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? And the mirror replied, Certainly it is Snow White, in the cottage of the seven dwarfs. Ah! Oh, is she still alive? I will kill her with a poisoned apple. The queen prepared a poisoned apple and transformed herself into an old apple peddler. She appeared again at the house in the forest and cried out, Apples! Delicious apples! The voice tempted Snow White to open the window. Oh, beautiful young lady, why don't you take a bite of my apple? I'm sorry that an old person like you is peddling apples deep in the forest. I'll take some. The princess took the apple offered by the old peddler and bit into it. Snow White clutched her chest in pain and stumbled to the ground, and her breathing stopped. The Queen saw the Princess die and cackled, ha 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 ha. Snow White is really dead. Now I am the fairest in the land. She returned to the castle with satisfaction. The forest animals tried in vain to bring Snow White back to life. Surprised at the message brought by the birds, the seven dwarfs came home and did everything they could to revive Snow White, but she didn't come back to life. Oh, poor Snow White! The dwarfs and forest animals were heartbroken and cried all night. The dwarfs could not bear to bury the beautiful princess and instead placed her in a glass coffin with flowers. And every day, as they knelt by her side, along with the forest animals and birds, they prayed. God, please bring her back to life again. Just then, a prince from the neighbouring land arrived on a white horse. He saw Snow White sleeping in the glass coffin and was fascinated by her breathtaking beauty. 
What a beautiful princess! He asked the dwarfs, I'm begging you, I want this beautiful sleeping princess as my wife. Let me marry her. They shook their heads sadly. The princess is dead. She cannot be revived. Please forget about her. The prince got off his horse and opened the coffin. He raised the princess gently in his arms, saying, I cannot believe you are dead. Your cheeks and lips are as red as blood, and your hair is so lustrous. I pray that God will revive you. Just then, a piece of the poisoned apple fell out of Snow White's mouth. Oh, um. She opened her eyes. Yahoo! The princess has come back to life. The dwarfs shouted in joy. Oh, you saved my life. Thank you very much, said Snow White. She fell in love with the handsome prince at first sight. Will you marry me? Princess asked the prince. She answered, yes, with pleasure. Congratulations! Jumping for joy, hand in hand, the dwarfs and forest animals congratulated the prince and princess. Snow White rode away with the prince toward the castle in the neighbouring land where they would lead a happy life. The grand wedding of the prince and princess was held in the castle. Queen had found out that Snow White was alive and getting married. She left for the castle on her magic broom with a poisoned dagger in her hand. But a bolt of lightning from the angry gods struck the poisoned dagger and the Queen was died. Respected by the people for their kindness to the poor and needy, the Prince and Snow White lived happily ever after.
The wicked queen was frightening, wasn't she? However good she makes herself look, she cannot be beautiful as long as she is wicked. If you are as kind as Snow White, you will be beautiful and loved by everyone.昔ある国にとても美しいオキサキがおりましたところがオキサキにはなかなか子供が授かりませんそこで子供が授かるように神様にお願いをしましたある日オキサキが窓辺で刺繍をしていると白い雪がちらちら降ってきますまあ雪が。オキサキは窓の外の雪を見上げましたところが手元が狂って刺繍の針をチクッと指に刺してしまいます痛白雪姫。